Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim this video is about epidemiology of neoplasia uh, these are the references for this video so why we study epidemiology epidemiology studies they give clues to the causes and associated factors with the neoplasia such as the various studies on the lung cancer revealed that it is strongly associated with uh, smoking while some dietary uh, in some uh, dietary intakes also contributed to the uh, development of the cancer so due to these epidemiological studies it is uh, easy to ascertain the burden of the disease and to allocate the uh, financial budget to overcome the burden of the disease the number of the cases due to cancer are increasing day by day so as the mortality and morbidity by them in 2008 total new cases were reported 12.7 million which uh, increased about 33% to 16 million in 2019 it is expected that in 2030 there will be 21.4 million new cases of the cancer the annual deaths which were 7.8 million in 2008 and last year in 2019 these two these deaths were uh, consist of 1/6 of every death and uh, these were 9.5 million and expected to be 13.2 million in 2030 daily deaths due to cancer are about 26000 in 2019 and it is expected that by 2030 this number will become 36000 This diagram is showing the uh, estimated cancer incidence by site and sex and uh, it is uh, showing that about 0.9 million of the cases were reported for both in men and women in 2019 and uh, the number 1 tumor for the male is prostate tumor which accounts for about 20% of the can total number of the cases while the number 2 uh, of the cancer was lung and bronchus that accounted for about uh, 13% of the cases while number 3 is the tumor from the colon and rectum uh, that is about 9% of the total cases so top 3 tumors in the male are from prostate bronchus and lung and colon and rectum while for female the breast is a uh, number one site and it accounts for about one third of the all of the tumors for uh, female and uh, number two is lung and bronchus and number three site is the uh, colon and rectum which equates about, uh, 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 the tumor from the uterine corpus that is also about seven percent this is the estimated cancer death by site and sex in 2019 Uh, in the united states about 3318420 deaths were in men while in female 282500 deaths were reported the major cause of the death in men was uh, uh, the tumor from the lung and bronchus while the tumor from the prostate and colon and rectum were second and third in that uh, category the tumors in female the leading cause uh, of the death was also lung and bronchus uh, while the second one was breast and third one was the uh, tumor from the pancreas colon and rectum all these three sites three four sites they account for about uh, more than 50% of the tumors in female 
the leukemias and non hodgkin lymphomas uh, both of for both of these categories the death rate is almost equal the cancer account for about 1/5 of the mortality in USA this graph is from the center for disease control and prevention cdc usa and it is showing trends in age adjusted cancer death rates by site between 1930 to 2017 you can see that the cancer was on higher site during early 20th century uh, while these mortalities are decreased during early part of 21st century uh, after the introduction of screening programs for various cancers there is a noticeable decrease in lung cancer mortality prostate and other cancer mortality is also decreased due to screening program and introduction of new treatment mortalities the mortality from liver and pancreatic tumor is increased and uh, the pancreatic tumors have got uh, distinctively bad prognosis and patient dies usually within 6 months of the diagnosis This graph is also from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. It is showing trends in age-adjusted cancer death rates for females during same period, and uh, death rate due to uh, uterine tumors are increased recently, and uh, the lung, bronchus, and breast tumors are decreased. due to early screening and removal of the tumor at an earlier stage this is the screenshot from the uh, national cancer institute of usa and it is showing the surveillance epidemiology and end result program that is termed as ca program all the uh, data from the cdc and uh, american cancer society uh, with relation to the uh, various form of the cancer is available from uh, this uh, website it is uh, stating that uh, since 1990 the cancer incidence is decreased in men about 20% while there is 10% decrease in female this uh, website is stating that there is a 15% decrease so it is uh, the average for the both male and female so this decrease mortality okay so in uh, this ca uh, program ca data also shows that uh, in 2019 the cancer mortality was 161.4 per 100000 person the decrease mortality is due to lower death rate in male by lung colon and prostatic carcinoma in 80% of the cases while there is 60% decline in mortality that is due to reduction in death rate from the breast and colorectal carcinoma decrease use of tobacco product contributed to a decreased in lung cancer death however tobacco use significantly increased mortality in our region that is indo pak region or the subcontinent early detection and early treatment are responsible for decrease mortality of the cervical cancer and prostate cancer use of pap smear or papaniculo smear as in the as a screening program enables physician to detect cancer at an early precursor lesion stage and hence these are cured earlier use of prostatic specific antigen or psa as is screening uh, also uh, it also favor early detection of prostatic carcinoma the race can define at risk group for cancer as it is a population group with common genetic and phenotypic features that separate them from other population group there is a significant decline in cancer in the african american uh, race 
and the lung, colorectal and prostate cancers are decreased. The Hispanics have got uh, the specific uh, uh, lesions. They have cancers. They usually have cancers of stomach, liver, uterine cervix, gallbladder, and leukemia. Well, the Caucasian have got uh, prostatic and colorectal carcinoma more. Environmental factors uh, are considered as dominant risk factors in cancer epidemiology because of association of some environmental uh, pathogens or environmental agents that uh, contribute to the pathogenesis of these cancers such as lung cancer is associated with smoking habits the gastric cancers are uh, associated with uh, environmental carcinogenesis and the liver cancers are associated with hepatitis B and C virus and also with obesity while high income groups have got uh, or high income groups have uh, got prostatic cancer and breast cancer more commonly. This is picture of world map which is uh, showing the location of uh, various countries just to give you orientation about the their location uh, because in the next slide we are going to see the geographic variation in cancer incidence. This map is showing the geographic variation in the cancer incidence. The most common tumors of the developed world are CA lung, CA breast, CA prostate and colorectal carcinoma while liver, cervical and esophageal carcinomas are the commonest tumor in the developing world. The blue color, this blue color is for Europe and uh, China and Russia and here the commonest variety of the tumor is lung and bronchus tumors while the magenta color is for subcontinent and here the oral cavity tumors are the commonest one. The yellow is for Saudi Arabia and some other uh, Arab countries where colon and rectal carcinomas are commonest. Kaposi sarcoma is a tumor that is associated with uh, HIV uh, infection and it is common in some African uh, countries. The sea green color, uh, you can see that uh, this uh, greenish uh, color is for prostate and it is the disease of or carcinoma of advanced world mostly. The commonest tumor is prostate tumor. This world map is showing the geographical variation is breast cancer incidence. This, this breast cancer incidence is high for USA and for uh, Australia while for uh, Brazil and southern USA it is between 59.7 to 80.2%. For Pakistan this range uh, is between 38.7 to 46.7 per 100,000 for India it is less than 25.6 per 100,000 the nasopharyngeal cancer is a rare cancer but uh, it is common in uh, China, Hong Kong and Singapore while the esophageal Carcinoma is extremely low in Mormon women in Utah, uh, and it is 300 times more common in females of northern Iran. Uh, there is uh, a, an Asian esophageal cancer belt that uh, is between Turkey to eastern China where these esophageal carcinomas are more common. The stomach cancers in Japan are 10 times more common than American white and uh, similarly they are common in Chile, Iceland and uh, Eastern Europe. The colorectal carcinoma are 4 times more common in USA than in Japan 
इंडिया अफ्रीका एंड लैटिन अमेरिका The liver cancers are more common in sub-Saharan Africa and most of the Asia, Indonesia and Philippines and these are associated with aflatoxin B1 and hepatitis B virus. The skin cancers are high in Northern Australia, American Southwest and low in Japanese, Chinese and Indian population. The African blacks have a high incidence of melanomas. The breast cancers are high in Europe and North America while these are low in African and Asian and these are about one-fifth of the whites in uh, Asia and Africa. The cervical carcinoma is very uh, uncommon in Ashkenazi Jews of Israel uh, in contrast with the uh, Hispanic of Texas in whom it is uh, about 25 times uh, more uh, while it is associated with low socioeconomic status, early sexual activity and multiparity while it is, uh, it is not seen in uh, women who have uh, got no sexual activity such as none, nuns and uh, this uh, is associated with human papilloma viruses. Choriocarcinoma is commonly seen in Asia Pacific such as Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan and uh, Philippines. The prostate carcinoma is low in Asians and especially very low in Japanese while it is uh, high and in American blacks it is about 25 fold more common than other races. The testicular cancer is four times common in whites while cancer of penis are common in Africa and Asia and these are also associated with human papilloma virus. The cancer of the urinary bladders, uh, urinary bladder is uh, common in area where schistosomal infestation is endemic. The Burkitt lymphoma is seen in African countries particularly in hot humid lowlands and multiple myeloma is uh, seen fourfold in American and South African blacks. The chronic lymphocytic leukemia is common in uh, Europe and North America and it is less common in Japan. The cancer incidence for US immigrants, uh, the immigrants from low risk areas such as Europe and Japan to the US exhibit a low risk for the colorectal carcinoma, breast carcinoma, endometrial carcinoma, ovarian carcinoma and prostatic cancer and uh, they, uh, their offspring exhibit increased risk of cancer. The immigrants who come from the areas where the hepatitis B and C virus infections are endemic, they develop cancer of the liver, while in poorly differentiated developed countries, the childhood form of Hodgkin disease is most often reported. In developed western countries, the disease is more common in young adults. This pattern is a characteristic of viral infection. Further clue, further evidence for the environmental influence is the higher incidence of Hodgkin lymphoma in Americans of Japanese descent than that in Japan. Difference in incidence of certain cancer in the two genders may be related to the presence of a specific sex hormone. <coughs> the common uh, cancers in female are CA breast, CA gallbladder, cancer of the thyroid and hypopharynx. This table is showing the five most common primary cancers in the world for the men, women and children under 20 years of age. The five most common tumors in men are lung, and uh, it replaces oral cavity in India. 
prostate, colorectal carcinoma, urinary bladder uh, tumors, and lymphomas. While for female, the most common tumor is breast, which uh, this number one replaces cervix in India, and uh, then number two is the lung, colorectal carcinoma, endometrial tumors, and lymphoma. The tumors of the children are acute leukemia, CNS tumor, bone sarcoma, endocrine tumor, and soft tissue sarcomas. One third of all cancers are attributed to nine modified lifestyle factors. These are tobacco use, consumption of alcohol, obesity, physical inactivity, low fiber diet, unprotected sex, pollution, indoor household smoke, and contaminated injections. 15% of the cancers have been linked with the infectious agent. One of these infectious agent is human papilloma virus, which is linked with uh, C cervix, carcinoma of the cervix and carcinoma of the oral cavity. And uh, the incidence of uh, this human papilloma virus infection is three times more common in developing world. Uh, developing world. And uh, the Smoking is the single most cause of premature death in United States and it has been uh, linked with mouth, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, pancreas and bladder cancer. Uh, the 90% of the lung cancer deaths are linked with smoking. Alcohol consumption is uh, uh, linked with CAS of oropharynx and uh, larynx and esophagus. It is also linked with hepatocellular carcinoma which develop after the development of uh, uh, alcoholic cirrhosis and uh, this alcoholic consumption is uh, has got synergistic effect with tobacco smoke. The diet has been linked with the uh, cancer as the carcinoma of the colon and rectum, prostate carcinoma and breast carcinoma have been uh, sh have shown various uh, geographical variation and they also associated with the diet variation. Then uh, obesity is linked with cancer deaths in men it is responsible for 14% of the cancer and in women it is responsible for 20% of the cancer. So uh, reproductive history is also associated and uh, linked with the carcinoma of the breast and endometrium. The unopposed exposure to the estrogen stimulation increases the chances of CA breast and endometrium while the Timing and number of pregnancies a woman has during her lifetime is li linked with CA breast. The environmental exposures of, uh, to certain carcinogen is very important. So when one goes outside, uh, he or she may get exposed to ultraviolet rays and a smoke that are carcinogenic if one drinking well water that is that contains high concentration of arsenic such as in Bangladesh and uh, in <coughs> other areas that uh, uh, this arsenic is also carcinogenic. Some medications are also associated with cancer development such as methotrexate. Uh, occupation exposure to some carcinogens such as asbestos or uh, the living habits such as grilled meat, high fat diet or alcohol consumption, all these are uh, environmental carcinogens. This is a very uh, interesting sentence from Robbins that uh, it appears that almost everything one does to earn a livelihood or for pleasure is fattening, immoral, illegal or even worse carcinogenic. This table is from Robin's textbook of pathology 10th edition and uh, it is showing that uh, the occupational cancers are associated with some 
uh, it becoming agents and uh, it is also relating uh, the type of the cancer which is associated with that uh, particular agent. Arsenic and its compound are uh, there by as a byproduct of metal smelting component of uh, alloy. They are electrical and semiconductor device component also and uh, they are used in medication and herbicides and fungicides and animal tech. They are associated with lung cancers and skin cancers. Asbestos, formerly used for many applications because of fire, heat and friction resistance and it is still found in existing construction as well as fire resistant textile friction material such as brake lining, under uh, lament and roof papers and floor tiles. This asbestos uh, is uh, implicated with lung, esophageal, gastric, colon carcinoma and mesotheliomas. The benzene which is the principal component of light oil despite known risk many applications exist in printing and lithography paint rubber dry cleaning adhesive and coating and detergent formerly this benzene was used widely as a solvent and a fumigant this benzene is associated with acute myeloid leukemia beryllium and beryllium compounds are uh, the component of the missile fuel and space vehicles they are hardener for lightweight metal alloy and particularly in aerospace application and nuclear reactor they are used they are associated with lung carcinomas <coughs> Cadmium and its compound are used, uh, it, its use uh, uh, are yellow pigments and phosphorus. They are found in solders and uh, used in batteries and uh, as alloys and metal plating and coating. And these are associated with prostate carcinomas. Chromium compound are component of metal alloy, paint, pigments and preservatives and they are uh, they have been linked with uh, uh, lung carcinomas nickel compounds are used and present as nickel plating components of ferrous alloys ceramics and batteries and they are also byproducts of stainless steel uh, arc welding they have been associated with lung and oropharyngeal carcinomas the radon and its decay products are uh, these are uh, from the decay of mineral containing uranium and potentially serious hazard in quarries and uh, underground mines and these have been associated with lung cancers. Vinyl chloride which is present in, uh, in uh, refrigerant and this is basically monomer of uh, vinyl polymer and uh, it is also present in adhesive for, for uh, plastic formerly inert aerosol propellant in pressurized container and uh, it is, uh, it is uh, associated with hepatic angiosarcoma. is another risk factor for the development of the cancer. Most cancers uh, arise after the age of 55 years and uh, the carcinoma is the main cause of the death among women between the age of 40 to 79 years and men between the ages of uh, 60 to 79 years. The Increased incidence of cancer with advancing age is due to accumulation of the somatic mutations and also with a decline in immune competence. The children are not spared from the development of cancers. 10% of all deaths in children below the uh, 15 years of age uh, are children.
in the US. Neuroblastoma, Wilms tumor, retinoblastoma, acute leukemias and rhabdomyosarcomas are common childhood tumors. The acquired predisposing conditions are another risk factor for the development of the cancer. These uh, predisposing conditions can be divided into three groups, chronic inflammation, precursor lesion or immunodeficiency states. The chronic inflammations and uh, the precursor lesion, they are associated with increased cellular replication and due to the increasing uh, cellular replication, there are chances of more genetic mutation. As a result, there is development of cancer. The commonly uh, affected or commonly encountered lesions are carcinomas, mesotheliomas and lymphomas. The immunic deficiency state is also associated with development of the cancer because it predisposes the individual to virus induced cancers. The cause and effect relationship between the chronic inflammation and the development of the cancer was first described by Verco in 1863 and uh, he described that there are uh, some infectious and non-infectious reasons for chronic inflammation and mostly these result in carcinomas, mesotheliomas and lymphomas. The mechanism uh, is that there is tissue injury which results in pooling of the cell and uh, in the pooling will result in local liberation or release of mediator and uh, oxidative stress within that particular environment which predisposes these uh, uh, group of the cells to DNA damage. If DNA damage is not repaired, uh, it will lead to this increased cell survival and hence the cancer. This table is showing the association of some etiologic agent and chronic condition with the development of the nucleosome. The asbestos, fiber, silica particles, they are associated with uh, mesothelioma and lung carcinoma, while inflammatory bowel disease, that is a chronic uh, condition involving the bowel is associated with colorectal carcinoma, the lichen sclerosis is a chronic condition of the skin that is associated with vulvar squamous cell carcinoma. The pancreatitis, chronic inflammation of the pancreas is also related with pancreatic carcinoma and the etiological agents are alcoholism, germline mutation and uh, chronic cholecystitis is also associated with gallbladder cancer and the bile acid bacteria and gallstones have been implicated in the development of this chronic cholecystitis the gastric acids they uh, they, pre they produce reflux esophagitis and barrett's esophagus this Barrett's esophagus can be a fertile soil for the development of esophageal carcinoma, Sjogren's syndrome and Hashimoto thyroiditis which, are, uh, which have got uh, autoimmune uh, etiology, they are also associated with MARD lymphoma or mucosa associated lymphoid tissue lymphomas. Similarly, liver flukes uh, which are opisthosis Bevarani are associated with uh, cholangiocarcinoma and colon carcinoma and uh, the pathologic condition is termed as opisthosis cholangitis. Helicobacter pylori, they are associated with gastritis and gastric ulcer and uh, they produce adenocarcinoma and mild lymphoma within the stomach. Then uh, the white hepatitis B and hepatitis C viruses are associated with hepatocellular carcinoma as they produce hepatitis. Osteomyelitis, which is the infection of bone and its marrow, and it's a bacterial infection of that area. It is associated with in the uh, associated with development of carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma within the draining sinuses. 
as this condition form multiple draining sinuses uh, through which the uh, uh, various component from the abscess bone abscess they come outside or they communicate outside world chronic cervicitis is associated with human papilloma virus or hpv and it has been uh, implicated or associated with the cervical carcinomas schistosomiasis has been uh, associated with chronic cystitis and the associated neoplasm is bladder carcinoma the precursor lesion can be defined as localized morphological changes that identify a field of epithelium that is at increased risk for malignant transformation these are hyperplasia which is seen in uh, endometrial hyperplasia it is uh, this endometrial hyperplasia is uh, is considered as a precursor lesion for the endometrial carcinoma then metaplasia is also a precursor lesion for the development of bronchogenic carcinoma and oral squamous cell carcinoma dysplasia which is seen in the uh, cs cervix is also considered a precursor lesion for the development of squamous cell carcinoma of the cervix sometimes benign tumor may undergo malignant transformation and an important example of this colonic villus adenoma which if not resected or treated it may uh, become malignant rarely tumor progresses to cancer such as uh, leiomyoma or pleomorphic adenoma then there are some tumors such as lipoma that never progress to the cancer and the, the recognition of these lesion is very important to reduce uh, cancer mortality by screening and early treatment to summarize we can say that cancer may develop in the setting of chronic inflammation such as uh, in barrett esophagus squamous metaplasia of bronchial mucosa schistosomiasis infection colonic metaplasia of the stomach as happens in pernicious anemia and chronic atrophic gastritis and squamous cell carcinoma that develop in an old burn scar uh, that is also termed as marjolin ulcer it uh, is also associated with non inflammatory hyperplasias such as endometrial hyperplasia and leukoplakia and the malignant transformation of the benign neoplasm is seen in colonic villus adenoma uh, in which 50% of the cases they transform into malignant one and neurofibromatosis that is also termed as uh, von Dittler-Gasson disease the cancer is also linked with immunodeficiency especially the deficits in t cell uh, immunity deficits they are associated with development of the cancer because they predispose the person to the infection by oncogenic viruses which result in development of lymphoma sarcoma and sarcoma like proliferations tumor development is also seen in the tissues which are dependent on hormone for their uh, proliferation and uh, hormone sensitive tissues such as breast endometrium myometrium vagina thyroid liver prostate and testes they may develop tumors in various uh, conditions if uh, the estrogen is also uh, linked with the development of the tumor estrogen therapy and women with estrogen secreting granulosa cell tumor of ovary they are at increased risk of uh, ca endometrium while the adenocarcinoma of the vagina is increased in adolescent daughters of mother who received uh, estrogen therapy during pregnancy contraceptive hormone are, are also associated with the development of the tumor they, there is a risk of developing breast cancer and uh, benign tumors of the liver and few cases are also associated with development of hepatocellular carcinoma the anabolic steroids which are uh, being used by athletes to increase the muscle mass are also associated with benign and malignant tumors of the liver 
in animal models induction of hyperfunction of adenohypophysis is associated with increased risk of developing a tumor of that particular target organ it follows uh, a development of functional hyperplasia there is tumor regression on removal of the stimulus or excessive hormonal secretion the hormone dependent tumors uh, are the prostate which usually respond to administration of estrogen the breast cancer may regress with oophorectomy hypophysectomy or on administration of male hormones while thyroid cancer may slow down in growth with administration of thyroxin that suppresses the secretion of TSH by the pituitary gland another risk factor for the development of tumor is the genetic predisposition in some families cancer is an inherited trait usually due to germline mutation in a tumor suppressor gene Uh, the influence of the heredity on sporadic malignant neoplasm that constitute about 95% of the tumor in united states it is considered that not only the genetic mutation the environmental factors and the presence of uh, the precursor lesion or chronic condition also play a role in the development of the tumor however lack of family history does not preclude an inherited component the breast cancer chances increases threefold if a person is harboring brca1 and brca2 mutations as uh, this uh, famous star angelina juli had once uh, and uh, the smoking induced lung cancers also Uh, give clue that this is due to polymorphism in the enzymes for p450 genes the genetic factors for the cancer development the risk for the cancer in uh, their relative increases threefold uh, and uh, the these genetic cancer they comprises of about 5% of all cancers one of the example is retinoblastoma which is present in 40% cases it is familial and it is inherited as autosomal dominant inheritance and it is due to absence of rb gene familial polyposis coli is an autosomal dominant inheritance and it is characterized by presence of polypoid adenomas uh, at birth or at an early age multiple endocrine neoplasia or men syndrome there are two types of men in men one there is adenoma of the pituitary parathyroid and pancreatic islets and uh, in men two the syndrome of medullary carcinoma thyroid phacocytoma and parathyroid tumors neurofibromatosis or von Neckel-Hausen disease which is characterized by uh, development or presence of cafe au lait spots on the skin and uh, then the, there is dna chromosomal instability syndrome which is uh, usually seen in zero derma zero derma pigmentosum which is an autosomal recessive disorder and uh, due to uh, this is basically the uh, genetic defect in which the dna is not repaired and due to exposure to the ultraviolet rays there is development of the skin cancer and these patient usually exhibit the development of squamous cell carcinoma uh, melanoma or basal cell carcinoma